Hi everyone, welcome to another Kitchen Empties. I love doing these with Kathy's Beauty Care Chats. Go check her out. She is kind of low carb, Atkins maintenance, keto-ish. I am the same. I try to not do the substitutes for cakes and flowers and breads and things like that. I try to eat just meat and vegetables and I haven't kept any of my meat and vegetables. I'm gonna put some pictures in here of some of the frozen vegetables that I love from Costco. They're very easy to always have on hand. That being said, I love fresh. I always have cabbage in my fridge. Cabbage shredded means I don't need to miss pasta. You cook that up, you put spaghetti sauce, cheese is macaroni and cheese, you can do so many different things. So I always have cabbage in my fridge. So unfortunately I don't have the meat and the vegetables. For meats, I typically eat salmon, uh, ribeye steaks, and sometimes chicken. I'm not as big into chicken, although I do enjoy it. I just don't eat it as often. But uh, that's typically how I eat with the meats and the vegetables. So let's jump into what I've got here today. I have two eggs here. One is organic free range and this is pasture raised. The pasture raised is from Trader Joe's. I don't remember where I got this one from but you might think organic and free range is better. It's not. The organic free range means there is a door where the hens can go out if they want to. The hen that laid this egg may never have seen the outdoors. Pasture raised means they have access to both and they are raised outdoors in ample area where there is pasture. They also have the barn indoors obviously to protect them from you know predators but I definitely prefer the pasture raised. Someone if I can remember who I'll put it up here told me to try this Trader Joe's culture salted butter. It is delicious. It's made in France. It is so creamy. Really really good. I typically take my butter out of the container and put it into or out of the plastic and put it into a container like an old, I can't believe it's not butter, and I write, it's the real thing on top. And sometimes I pull it out for just 10 minutes before I need to use it because we're pretty warm here in Arizona. In the winter time, I'm able to leave it out on the counter all the time. In the summertime, it would be liquid because when we're not home, our house gets up over 80 degrees. So it only works in the winter. Trader Joe's Nutritional Yeast, I love this. I use it all the time. It's like a Parmesan cheese. You can have it on eggs, salad, cabbage, anywhere where you want the Parmesan cheese flavor. I just grab a scoop and put it in my mouth. I love this stuff. Now I have started doing um, specific sublingual uh, vitamin B as well as the B12 pills. I'm going to see if I can get by with doing that because I take betaine, my body will absorb it. If your body doesn't absorb it properly, you need betaine. And that's why the shots work because it bypasses your stomach not working properly. I fixed my stomach with the betaine. Hopefully that quick intro made it in sense. Trader Joe's. I don't eat these very often. I'm clearing them out of my pantry. I don't, I prefer fresh. And this is very good. I put it on over top of cabbage. It's actually fairly healthy. It doesn't have a huge amount of preservatives in it, but like I said, I just try to eat fresh. Apple cider vinegar, I put some in my water. I put some if I have any kind of, um, any kind of drinks that it would go with. Apple cider vinegar goes amazing with a lot of different things. Think of it like a lime or something tart. You don't want to add too much. And sometimes I do get the Bragg's Not Your Mother. If you leave this, it grows its own. They all have the mother in it. Bragg's just was really smart with their marketing. My stevia extract, I get this from Trader Joe's and you have the little tiny scoop. And this is what I put in my iced coffee every morning. And sometimes, I try to not make it too often, I use this uh, Tarani Classic Caramel. That's my favorite one. I don't do it that often. Like when I say not that often, maybe once a week. I try not to do it very often, but the stevia, I won't drink my coffee without it. When I have a slice of cheese, I sometimes have it plain, but when I want to have it on crackers, even though I can eat flour and gluten now that I've healed my stomach, 
I still do almond nut thins. These are really good. I only need nine of them. I break up my slice of cheese into nine little squares and it works out perfectly and it's a great little snack. I do one meal a day, OMAD. I've started doing that recently. But late in the afternoon, if Mark is eating with me and we aren't eating till seven, I'll sometimes do cheese and crackers at about five just to tide me over. Brianna's poppy seed dressing, this is delicious. I will link a recipe below that is an amazing salad with avocado, chicken, cheese. It's just so good. And it's with the Brianna's poppy seed dressing on top. It's my go-to salad, I love that. The other salad that I love is arugula, which is salt and pepper, olive oil and balsamic. And speaking of olive oil, this Trader Joe's extra virgin olive oil, we love it. It comes with this easy pour top and it's just very easy. We always have an extra one in our pantry. It looks like I don't eat healthy because I'm not showing you all these things, but it's the only container things. Like I said, I didn't save the meat and vegetables. This is almond flour. I actually ended up buying a replacement from Costco. Maybe once a month I'll make garlic cheese bread or something like that that takes the almond flour, but typically I don't do that as part of our regular eating. It's usually meat and vegetables. And then when I'm really being bad, this is a good bad treat, if that makes sense. It's not anything, you know, it's not like I'm eating Cheerios or bread or something that's more bad for you. I'm eating Atkins. These are only two grams of net carb, one gram of sugar. They don't spike your insulin level and they're gluten-free. So very easy to have. My, these are chocolate almond. My favorite are the peanut butter ones. Oh my goodness, those are good. In case you're wondering, the awesome floor cleaner from the dollar store, it is awesome. Um, I get this one at one dollar store and then another dollar store has Fabuloso. They're both great. I really like both of them. And then finally, my wine bottle. I drink one bottle of wine a week and I usually open it on Friday and finish it on Sunday. Mark has beer, but I enjoy my wine. Sometimes white. This is a 669 Chardonnay. In the winter time, I do more of reds. Cameron Hughes is our go-to. We order it off his website. Frequently has sales, love, pretty much every Cameron Hughes wine. I stop buying now at Costco or Sam's Club because I'm always disappointed. I can look it up on my phone and it's a 90 plus point wine. It's not that good. The worst bottle that I've had from Cameron Hughes is way better than any bottle I've had from anywhere else. So we just pretty much now stick to Cameron Hughes or we also have our high-end wines that we like, but you can get these probably on sale for eight to twelve dollars, and that's a pretty good price. You know, I do have the one that I like for my weeknight is the Trader Joe's Bay Moon wine. I think it's three to five bucks, depending which state you live in, and that is a nice weeknight um, white wine. So if I'm off on vacation and I want something in the pool during the week, I will do that. Weekends, I tend to go with my Cameron Hughes. So I hope this was helpful and inspired you in some way with some of the products. And thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go check out Kathy's video and see what she has because she always motivates me. Thank you so much for watching again and we'll talk to you next time.